Hi, all Star Wars fan. Here's a an unbox of a humidifier that we bought from uh, Sears. This is actually R two D two. Um, I we just started unboxing it, so uh, before we continue further, just want to show you what's inside. Um, well, let's go through the box first. So this is Star Wars R two D two. So for Star Wars fan, you know that R two D two did not really show up that much on the newest uh, Star Wars. But in any case, this is a really iconic figure, so everyone knows what this is. Um, this particular one can use a regular bottle, so when you look at this, it seems like it will fit, but we're not sure, we just first time that we're trying this. Uh, this is a humidifier, it will run about 12 hours of runtime. Uh, what else? Let me turn around. Um, so, uh, outside the box, it looks pretty neat. Uh, we just look at inside really quickly and the R2D2 itself is pretty uh, good looking as well. So let me quickly open this up. Okay, so here is the R2D2. As you can see, this is entirely made from plastic and it's really just um, a, a cast of itself. Um, the quality of service is really not that bad. Uh, the paint itself is pretty cool. Uh, it looks um, the, uh, to it really looks like the RT2, R2D2 that we know of. Um, inside the box, um, there is a set of instructions. Okay. Um, it may take me a while to go through it in any case. What else inside? Of course, I believe this is the uh, a quick start guide. Of course, if you want to jump right in, you can do that. Okay, and then there's the uh, power adapter itself. So, beside the power adapter, there is also a brush. I'm assuming this is used to clean um, uh, the, I guess, the, the mechanical things inside. So let me uh, open this up and continue further. So once you turn the head off, um, as you might expect, this is sort of like a regular hand meter to fire that uh, we had before, it looks very similar. And obviously, um, once water starts to fill up, uh, the calcium will also start to fill up as well, and I guess you use a brush to clean. Um, now, as far as how do you actually use this, I really have no idea how you're going to put the bottle itself into this one. Um, well, I have to try it, right? So, I bought a smart water bottle. So, this is pretty long and pretty heavy to say the least. And obviously, we cannot use anything heavier than this. Uh, then again, I never tried this. So, hopefully, this works. Essentially, you just take this and just screw it in. Or you just plug it in, not screw it. So I just want to push this in. So we found out that these are actually not screw. These are actually just lines to hold the bottle together. And I just uh, push it a little bit hard to get it in. Um, now the question is, will it drip uh, when I turn it around? So I'm not sure. So it doesn't seem like water is coming out. Okay, so now we just have to turn it around and put it into uh, the thing. How are we going to do that? I'm still scratching my head. Okay, let's see. Okay, the, so the instruction says that you um, take out the R2D2 head and plug in the adapter. Okay, and then basically just I guess flip it around. I'm uh, assuming this works. It will stop the water once it's filled in. Now we have trouble. Okay, there's no leaking. Means that it's working and it's not. It's a little bit heavy on the top, and obviously you better be careful, otherwise it'll tip over. Okay, the power itself is in the back. Okay, I will just plug in and then I'll just put this in. Let's see. Uh, this is the off. All you need to do is just turn it to on and the light will turn on. And go sideways. 
as you can see the water waver started to show up so that's pretty neat uh, this is to control how much water waver you do, you want to pump out and and that's entirely adjustable so there you have it for Star Wars fan if you want R2D2 in your home to help you go ahead and buy this uh, humidifier